everyone, Anna here. I just wanted to share my um, junk journal that I made for Sabrina Martinez. Um, so Sabrina, if you want to be surprised, don't watch this. <laughs> this is my very first finished junk journal and I'm like super, super excited about it. I hope that she loves it as much as I had fun making it. So this is my junk journal. Um, the front of it is, well, this is eight by eight. Um, it's made out of, um, I don't know, cardstock and different papers and embellishments and stuff. Uh, this was just a, a paper that I had bought uh, quite a few years ago, actually, and loved it and decided that I wanted the cover to be this. And then I made this little embellishment here, and these are vintage tickets. And then just added a little bit of bling. Um, I made this ribbon tassel, and it has this little potion bottle too. And it's got um, a witch with that's a brad. So on the inside, I really like doing these type of um, like inside covers where it's got uh, kind of like the library insert so that, you know, if, if they're going to keep it, they can add their stuff to it or can give it away. So I have that pocket there and then I have a smaller pocket. And um, actually, what I did was, my children had this book, um, Halloween book, that we loved, but it was really falling apart, and so I kind of took it apart and used a lot of that. So this is like the beginning of the story, um, and just kind of embellished this, and it's got a little spider tag here. And then here, this is another double packet, so it's got big tags there and some smaller pieces here and another embellished um, flower type thing that I did and here's um, the first page of the story and this actually lifts up like that and then it has did a little opening for a little tuck spot there this I actually just, um, I had a, some um, sheet music and then I printed this over top of it. And this is a Halloween bingo card that I put a little spider on. And then on the back side I did an envelope um, and left this part open so that you could put tags in there. And then in here I have... Um, a stamped piece of paper and a vintage um, playing card. And then this side has um, a little tuck spot here. And then there's a tuck spot there. This is another one that I just printed out. And then um, this is a cupcake liner that I used as a little pocket and added in some fun stuff. And this is um, a treat bag with a large tag in it. And then this side has another envelope with tags in it. And then um, here's just another little um, paper clip and then I have a little journaling spot here and then another little tuck spot there and this side opens and then I have more tuck spots there. This is just um, scrapbooking paper and then I have this clear 
um, packet that I had gotten from somebody. can't remember who now, sorry. And so then I have um, a vintage um, subtraction card and then another little journaling spot. But I liked the wording on the scrapbook paper, so I decided that I just wanted to kind of keep that where you could see it. And then here's another treat bag that I just put in some papers and a pumpkin doily for her. And then um, I printed this out, this witch out. And then this is um, a crocheted flower that I added, a ghost brad to. And I had a whole bunch of this um, bunting that I just kind of cut a couple of pieces down for. And then this is the back page. And I just kind of embellished it and put end. And then on the, the back cover I did... Um, just kind of a little bit of embellishment and then handmade with love and me and the date and then that's the back cover so yeah um, so I'm pretty happy with it since it's my first complete journal um, and I just really hope that Sabrina likes it so um, so yeah thank you